y'all don't beat me up hello lovely people welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome on in i hope you choose to stick around please get comfortable now as you can tell by the title of this video i'm sick and tired <laughs> i'm sick and tired look let's just get into it okay so if you have a twitter slash x account then you may be no stranger to fan wars especially if you are a huge fan of a certain artist and you kind of keep up with that artist on this social media platform or at least keep up with the fan base then yeah you're no stranger to fan wars and can i be the first to say it's super annoying it's getting ridiculous now as you all know i'm a fan of many artists i love many artists i am willing to defend many artists that's not where the problem lies see with people on the internet we call them keyboard warriors they know that there's no real life consequences or usually typically there's no real life consequences to things that they say on the internet so they can get away with being malicious and just downright rude and just disrespectful to people and nothing happens to them typically now because of that because we have this rise of keyboard warriors a lot of people feel like they can just say the most outlandish things they can think of and nothing happens to them and like i said typically nothing does happen to them so that's why they're allowed to do things like this also these artists that y'all are defending so ruthlessly they don't know you exist now no 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 some of them do because if you're like a really big fan page and you have like 100,000 plus followers, then yeah, there is a very high chance that that celebrity has noticed you and has acknowledged you. So I will give you that. I will give you that. There is a chance this celebrity knows you, but they don't know you on a deep personal level, nor do you know them on a deep personal level. Like y'all aren't best friends. Y'all are best internet friends maybe, but y'all aren't best friends in real life. I don't know this person's deep, intimate details of their life. So with that being said, y'all go so hard for people y'all don't really know. And y'all have the nerve to talk mess about every other artist and just say the most rude, most just disgusting thing you can think of about that person. And somebody needs to tell y'all that it's not okay. Who raised y'all? <laughs> like, I can understand if somebody says something about your favorite artist and you come to their defense that's no problem i see that all the time like people throwing this artist under under the bus people throwing that artist under the bus and just saying things like comparing charts or comparing numbers or comparing talents even that mm, not so bad it's when y'all get into the personal details of their life and you're like well this person da, 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 this person da, da, da. okay mm, i don't think that's too appropriate now if this said artist did something really bad that the public needs to know, yeah, that's that's no issue. Like, we shouldn't be supporting someone that mm, isn't the best person. But if it's nothing like that and you're just trying to get one up on this person because you hate their fan base, that's weird. That's weird. Like, even I'm afraid to show love. Well, I'm not afraid because what y'all gonna do to me? But you get what I'm saying? Like, even I'm like hesitant to show love to certain artists because I don't want people under my post like, oh, I thought you were this person's fan. I thought you were this person. It is very possible to be a fan of more than one person at one time. I'm, I'm living proof of that. I'm a fan of multiple artists and I respect them all equally. I think they all bring something to the table. Am I crazy for thinking that? I don't think so. I think I'm pretty much on par with the rest of the world when it comes to our favorite artists slash celebrities. I think it is very possible to like more than one person at one time. Now, also, I also don't like how y'all mainly do this with female artists. Mmm, let's clock that tea. Y'all love to pit two women against each other. That's y'all favorite past hobby. Two women existing in the same genre at the same time? Oh, y'all can't have that. It's either one or none. Y'all just cannot accept the fact that two women can be popping at the same time and be good at their craft. Y'all just have to make it a competition. Y'all just have to make it a fan war. Why does everything need to be a war with you guys? 
why is it so hard for two women to coexist in the same genre at the same time? You know what? It doesn't even have to be the same genre. It could be two complete different genres, two complete different eras, and y'all will still pit them against each other just because y'all can't stand to see two women, two successful women popping at the same time. Like, that's very strange. Like, y'all don't see anything strange about that? Like, nobody thought to sit back and be like, yo, why? <laughs> why are we pitting these two successful, talented women against each other? Because a lot of these celebrity beefs come from the fans talking mess behind their screens, them keyboard warriors. So now those two celebrities don't like each other because their fan bases have beef. Does that not seem literally insane to you guys? Does that not seem very sick in the head to you guys? Also, I think we should all just act our age. I'm, a, I'm 23. I'm very young. My brain isn't even fully developed yet. My frontal lobe still has some developing to do until I get to 25. So me being young and even I can comprehend like this is crazy. Like let's dial it back a bit. This is literally insane. And you got 30 plus 40 plus women out there still beefing and being catty over nonsense okay but guys i just want can we all just get along but no seriously it's getting a bit ridiculous we're all we're all better than that we should all be a bit more mature than that i can understand the frustration especially if the artist is calling out your favorite artist but leave that between them i think we all should just do better as a society all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video of me giving my two cents on fan wars. Please leave down below in the comments how you feel about fan wars. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.